channel if you're new here my name's Carolyn and I do a ton of fashion try on videos with a little bit of beauty and lifestyle in the mix as well so today's video is actually the second part of my Opali dress collection haul try on video type of thing so I'm really just showing you all the dresses that I've accumulated from Opali throughout the years telling you what I think if I like them if I don't how practical are they and if you guys should buy them because I know that Opali is a really popular brand and you know, you never know how things are going to fit. So this is for any of the girlies who love to, you know, shop and definitely shop at like places like Opali and have ever wanted to try their stuff and see how it looks on. This video is for you. And so if you haven't watched the first part, definitely go do that. But the second part is going to be all the rest of my dresses and let's just get started so this video isn't too long and we start off with this gorgeous gorgeous white bell sleeve dress that is one of my absolute favorites that i've gotten from opali i literally feel like a little angel in this look at those sleeves i absolutely love them like ah. like yes yes please i love anything bell sleeve i just think it adds like a lot of like a feminine touch like really girly and sexy but feminine at the same time like I absolutely love it I feel so beautiful in this like I said I feel like a little angel so this is like perfect for like maybe probably closer to like the fallish time when it's a little bit cooler because it is long sleeve but it has a kind of like a sweetheart neckline so it's kind of a low cut and then it has like a twist right in between your boobs so it's kind of ruched it which kind of accentuates the bust really well and again the gorgeous bell sleeves that are really long you do have to watch eating in this or like doing anything so that you make sure the sleeves don't get like dragged through food or anything but still super cute the back isn't like anything special it just is all the way up so it's not backless at all but yeah that's it it's kind of like a like a knit, not like a very thin like knit cotton material. So it's really soft, but it's also like not thick really. It's very light for the most part. And then this is it. It is mini. I'm going to have the full length video right here so you guys can see. But it stops about mid thigh on me. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, it's like stops right there. And I just think it's so freaking flattering. I love this so much. I wore this on my trip to Italy. I wore it at St. Teddy and I took pictures of it and it was absolutely stunning. But yeah, I love this one so much. This is like a 10 out of 10. It has my heart forever and I actually loved it so much that I got it in a second color, which I will show to you guys right now. So this is the same dress in a different color, this beautiful like burnt orange. I think it's so gorgeous, definitely in the fall. For like autumn colors this would be so perfect i actually took my fall like autumn couple photos with my boyfriend in this dress and they turned out so good in the summer i would say that i kind of blend in with the with the color because i get a little bit darker and more tan so but when i'm paler in like the fall or fall time it's so cute but it's literally so gorgeous the exact same um you can probably see the little ruched detail a little bit better in the orange with the sweetheart neckline and of course the gorgeous bell sleeves that i literally can't get over they are to die for i love these i love anything bell sleeves they're just so cute and add so much to an outfit really really stunning again like mini length as you'll see in the little video full length video that i included but yeah let me know what you guys think of these i think they're so freaking amazing like 10 out of 10 i would get these in so many colors like if they had this in like a sage green 100 would buy in a black 100 would buy like blue buy like every single color i would literally get this dress because it's just so stunning and flattering i love it so much um oh one thing that i both got i got these both in like a size zero but for some reason this one's a little bit like tighter and more constrictive Again, I think it's because of the dye. White things always are just a little bit looser than like things that are darker colors because I feel like the dye just makes it a little bit tighter, constrictive for some reason. I don't know the science behind it, but that's not how a lot of clothes are, even in athletic clothes. But yeah, just to let you know that the, the orange runs just a tad bit tighter. It's like not, I can still fit into it because it is pretty stretchy and stuff, but it would be maybe a little bit more uncomfortable. But other than that, this is literally so cute. And definitely if you're like a country girl, I'm not. But if you wore this to like a country concert with cowgirl boots and like a cowboy hat, that would be such a vibe. You'd be so cute. 
But yeah, let me know what you guys think and if you would buy this one. And let me show you the next dress. So this next dress is another blue dress, surprise, surprise. But it is a little bit more out of my comfort zone because it's more of a bright darker blue instead of the normal light sky blue that I love to wear but it's still so so gorgeous so this is it so let's just talk about the top real quick so it has like regular straps that are amazing because they are adjustable and a lot of times the poly dresses do not have adjustable straps so it's nice that these are adjustable and then it has this these other two straps that tie around your neck like so so this i mean honestly it does hold up the dress a little bit but it's so like skinny that it doesn't do much so it's glad i'm happy that they did two straps on each side to hold up the dress and then this is the little fun part that's a little like a reshed overlay so it has like a bandeau as you can see there's my little nippy pads but um it has like a little ruched as you can see it has like a middle seam and it reaches out like a bandeau that goes across your boobs and then this like cow neck mesh overlay to give it a little bit of texture and like more i guess like enhance not enhances but like shows off the bust area a little bit better so that's really cute i love that i've seen girls who like wear this dress go like all the way down like that like to show this shows i don't know if i really like that because it is so small but it shows my under boob so i don't really like having it all the way down so i kind of just like put it a little bit right there so you only really see the top of the little bandeau but it's so cute still and then it's ruched all the way down it has like a mesh overlay with a blue lining underneath so you are not gonna have any problems with like having to wear like a slip or anything like that underneath you are covered it's not sheer at all because of that beautiful lining underneath but yeah, it's super tight and I will say the zipper is kind of difficult. So the zipper goes all the way like from like maybe at the top of your bum all the way up to the top of the dress obviously. And I struggle getting this up because it's just tight and it's hard to do it by myself but I can't do it. Um, but it is a little bit of a struggle. I could have sized up maybe but it's fine. <laughs> And then like a lot of Opali dresses that are ruched like this, it has like a middle seam obviously where the zipper is and it goes all the way down like in between your butt cheeks. So it's really nice and like flatters your bum because it like separates it and accentuates it a little bit more. But, oh my god, I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, I talk, I think I talk too fast and like my brain's going way too fast so I'm just like talking without remembering to breathe. <laughs> so I get out of breath a lot during these videos. But anyways, this, yeah, this is it. It's really, really gorgeous. Again, tight and form-fitting. I would say this one is like an 8 out of 10. I just don't see myself wearing it like too much, too much. But I still think it's really, really cute. But yeah, this is it. Let me know what you guys think of this one. This next dress is really, really cute. And I got it in this color in a white as well, which I'll show you next real quick. But it is in this gorgeous sage green color. And as you may know, this is like my second favorite color. It's like a light sage green. It's just so gorgeous. Definitely against my skin tone. It's just beautiful and stunning. But this is it. So again, it's another mini bodycon dress. That's ruched. What's new? That's just a ton of like opali dresses. And that's kind of like what I like. So I am, give, as I grow older, I'm going into like more like maxi dresses and like more not as fitted dresses, but I still always love these type of dresses. They're just so stunning and figure flattering and just sexy but beautiful at the same time. But let's talk about the top. So it is kind of interesting and unique because it has like these two straps that kind of like crisscross. So it's not just like going up and down, which is really, really cool. It just adds a little something, something. The first one that is connected nearby is just like a regular strap so it goes from the front to the back like straight back. Nothing too crazy just you know normal spaghetti strap like that. And then the other one actually is really interesting because it crisscrosses and so it crisscrosses here and goes inwards and then crisscrosses in the back and then goes through here and then ties in the back so it gives it this open back which is so gorgeous and just like crisscross detail which is really intricate and unique so it's just a really really fun back which I love and then these have like little I guess like not cups because it's not it doesn't have any like padding or wire or anything but as you can see it kind of just goes down and like ruched like that I will say 
It is a little bit small for my boobs because, again, I have fake boobs. So it kind of cuts in the middle of my boob because my boob ends right here. So it doesn't exactly fit. But if you have smaller boobs like a A or a small B, it should be fine. But, again, that's you can't, it doesn't really bother me at all because you can't really see it. Again, it has like a mesh overlay within like the green lining underneath so again you don't have to worry about it being sheer and showing off your nips or you know your underwear or anything like that so you're completely safe again and yeah so it's just mini ruched it all the way down and it doesn't have like a seam down the middle um which is kind of nice even though it doesn't accentuate the butt as well it doesn't have a zipper so you can just like slide this on i don't have to worry about like trying to yank a zipper up so I really like that part of it because sometimes I just don't want to zipper because it's just it's such a struggle to like pull up and you sometimes need like a second person. So just being able to like shimmy into this and because it's so stretchy, you can't do that. It just makes it so much easier to take on and take off, which I love. This is one of my top favorite ones from Opali again. So I would rate this like a 10 out of 10. Honestly, I love the back just so much and the color. It's just super stunning. Let me try on the white one as well for you guys. And that'll be it for the video. This is the same dress that I just tried on, but in a white cream color, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love anything white cream because I feel like I look very just angelic and... I guess kind of innocent, I don't really know, but I just think it's really, really stunning, definitely on my like tan, darker skin tone. It just makes me look even tanner, and I just feel so beautiful in anything like light colored like this. But yeah, this is it. So it's the exact same thing with like the crisscross straps that go into this gorgeous, unique, like strappy back that you can just tie as tight or loose as you want it. And again, just ruch it all the way down. Super form fitting and just figure flattering. I love it so much. Yeah, this is really it. So let me know what you guys like better if you like the green one or this white one. I honestly don't know because I love the green one. I think it's such a gorgeous color, but white is just my tried and true will always come back and think I look so gorgeous because it just makes me look so just tan and like pure. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it, but it's just really, really gorgeous. But yeah, that's it for my Opali dress collection. I honestly have like a little bit more. I think I have like two or three more dresses, but they're like maxi dresses. And I don't know, I think I might just do a maxi collection dress later on because I have a good amount and I love maxi dresses. So I can show you guys that if that's what you're interested in because they're just so good for the summer. Maxi dresses, like obviously mini dresses are great, but maxi dresses are just... I don't know, it's just something different. I love it so much. But yeah. Anyways, that is it for this video. And again, check out part one if you haven't already seen it. Let me know if you guys shop at Opali or if you have in the past and what you guys think. I think they always come out with like really cute collections. I mean, some of them are not my style per se, but I still think they are really cute and could fit other people's style. They have just a ton. So they have cute, girly, sexy, you know, clubbing, professional. They just have everything under the water. So you can definitely find something that you like there no matter what. They have so much stuff. It's They always have like sales going on too, which is great. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. Um, let me know which was your favorite dress. Comment down below and I love hearing from you. So I'll definitely comment back and yeah, follow me on my social media links. Um, they're on my link tree that's also listed down below in my bio. I made a new Instagram for like just from like dedicated to my YouTube and content creation. So if you guys want to follow me there too, it's kerosene underscore. So that's my new one and I'm going to be way more active or try to be more active on there and put more content because I have a personal one that I used to have linked to here but like I didn't want you know I don't know it's just I didn't want to keep that one for like my close friends and family so I made the other one the kerosene underscore dedicated to this one where I'd be posting a lot more stuff that's connected to like YouTube and just more fun stuff that I don't really you know not you worried about or like people that I know seeing but yeah um I also have everything all the items if I can find them listed and linked down below for you guys as well that's kind of it um I hope you guys enjoy these videos and thank you again so much for watching we just hit 1k also I didn't forgot to mention that in the part one but we literally just reached 1k subscribers I am so freaking happy I know it's super small and it's still like I mean 
compared to like people other people are like you have millions of subscribers it's not much but you know you'll never get anywhere comparing yourself and i'm just happy that you know i'm staying consistent and it's growing even though it might be small i'm very excited and i am so happy to be growing as like a family and you know i can't wait to see where this channel goes and i just want to thank you all so much for supporting and watching my videos and yeah thank you guys again and i'll see you guys in the next one bye